Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you all to the 2023 HKI QEP annual dinner. We are your MC for this evening. My name is Isaac Poon, a member of the HKI QEP Youth Committee. I'm Kathy Eve, a professional member of HKI QEP. Tonight, we are here at this precious gathering to celebrate the 8th anniversary of HKI QEP. It is our privilege to invite the president of HKI QEP, Mr. Freeman Jung, to come on stage to give us the welcome speech. Freeman, please. With the dedicated support and guidance from Honorable Engineer Dr. W.K. Low, we revamped our Article of Association at our AGM in June to Constitution and Bylaws to prepare for the introduction of a private member's bill into the Legislative Council. We then embarked to consult the public and key stakeholder through public fora and engagement meetings. Apart from ongoing support from the Environment and Ecological Bureau, we received very positive and encouraging results with support letter received from the Director of Environmental Protection and professional institute, including the Hong Kong Institution of Engineers, the Hong Kong Institute of Architects, the Hong Kong Institute of Planners, and other public bodies like the Construction Industry Council, Business Environment Council, and the Hong Kong Green Production, uh, Green Building Council, to name a few. We are indebted to the dedicated effort of uh, Dr. W.K. Lowe for his ongoing guidance with a will to table the private member's bill to LegCo EA panel in the first quarter of 2024. We still have a long way to go, but we are certainly on the right path, raising the recognition of our memberships as well as providing more opportunities for members bringing benefit through strengthening the quality of our profession and to motivate and attract young talents to join the profession, focusing on the fast developing areas in addressing climate change and carbon neutrality, protecting natural resources and promoting sustainability to make a positive impact. Moving forward, we will focus on strengthening our development program, ranging from our outreaching full youth committee, university accreditation program, on the job training, including the pilot graduate environmental training scheme, GAS and to explore collaboration with other professional organizations to further embed and integrate environmental knowledge into our community, as well as collaborate with our counterparts in the Greater Bay Area. HKI QEP will remain devoted to enriching the environmental professional industry and the community, and we look forward to your con continuous support to carry HKI QEP forward. I would like to thank our sponsor, the Patching Companies and Organization Committee for this wonderful event. Thank you all for joining us tonight, and I hope you will all enjoy the rest of the evening catching up with friends and colleagues. Have a great evening. Thank you. Freeman, Dr. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to be here this evening for two reasons. The first is that well, this is the eighth annual dinner of the Hong Kong IQEP. It's a very well, enjoyable day. And the second reason is that, well, I'm very happy to see so many people here so that I can remind all of you, 10th of December <laughs> is the District Council Election Day. Do come out and vote 
for your preferred candidate. It's very important. Yeah. Well, since 2015, the Institute has gone a long way. Now, well, I understand that the Institute has well, almost well, 600 members, and there are well, 1,100 candidates well, sitting for the Part 1 examination. That means, well, this is an Institute with a future, because many young people, they are lining up to wait well, to become a member. And also, well, uh, we have just heard that well, uh, Dr. Low well, is also helping well, to establish a, a law to back up well, the institute. I think this is very timely. Why? Because well, the world today now, we are entering into a new era. Everybody is talking about green. Everybody is talking about carbon neutrality. All the large companies, large corporations, they are looking for advice and looking for experts to teach them what to do in order to better protect the environment and better to well, uh, survive uh, during this change or well, uh, transition into a green future. They are looking for expert advice. Well, we all know that well, ESG is becoming well, a necessary procedure for all the listing companies. And they are also looking for people who can help them well, to work out their programs, their plans, and also well, the reports. Yeah. And behind all those, everybody is well, are worrying about a, a problem. What about greenwashing? What about greenwashing? How can we ensure that well, those green projects are actually green? How can we ensure that there were the banks well, they are, well, are lending money well, to, uh, to a true green project, a true green company? We need experts who know what is environment. We need experts who know what actually needs to be done in order to achieve carbon neutrality. Therefore, we need environmental professionals. And better, we need environmental professionals who are backed up by an institute and backed up by law. If this can be done, we will be the first place in the world. The ESG report or those proposals, those well, uh, transactions, etc., they are certified by qualified environmental professionals. Very important. Therefore, well, Hong Kong IQEP president and members, well, I, I congratulate all of you for the achievement. I look forward to well, your better efforts, well, not only to make money, not only to, <laughs> but also to establish environment as a true profession. Well, it will require not only the efforts of the Institute, but the efforts of all of you, and also the young people. Yeah, I always say that, well, as of today, we work out our plans, our carbon, our climate action plan by 2050. But I am only the person who draw up the plans, and you will be the person who deliver the plan. Whether we can achieve carbon neutrality depends on you. Therefore, well, make more efforts. Thank you. Yeah, because the actually IQEP held their annual dinner last year in the same place. But uh, by then, we were all wearing our face masks. Well, it's the, so uh, happy that we can now get together in the same place again, but without our face masks on. Of course, you can choose to put your face masks on, but it's not compulsory anymore. <laughs> yeah, so indeed, this is an a, a evening for us to uh, really enjoy and uh, treasure and remember. And uh, above, the President Freeman and uh, Secretary uh, CWJS mentioned about the, um, the uh, private member's bill um, that I plan to move in the electrical. And while this is in, important, well, they both explain why it is important. And I really am very pleased and uh, honored you know, to have that opportunity to work with you all on these uh, important uh, bill. And I witnessed the founding of HAIQEP eight years ago. And I witnessed how hard they worked together, they had nice and try to 
ensure a proper, prosperous career development for environmental professionals. But of course, first of all, their, their professional qualification have to be formally recognized. And this is why we you know, work together to have this bill. And it's not, not, not just for this team of uh, good friends, but really for our next generation, our next, next generation, for the future environmentalists to really work under an umbrella of a recognized professional body so they can contribute to combat the climate change, combat, contribute to achieving carbon neutrality, and they don't have to worry about their qualification not being recognized anymore. Okay? <laughs> so that's why it's important. Well, I, 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 I don't know um, how long it will take, but we'll work together to make it happen. <laughs> well, because of this, well, let me play um, a Chinese oldies. It's an oldies that, uh, that means uh, we really have to uh, enjoy and treasure this evening. Gam siu do zhen zhong. Well, this is uh, not a very long one because I will have the second one. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lowe, for your well, great performance. Welcome to Dorian Jung. Well, another one I think is very appropriate for this occasion, too. Well, we work, at a, had a, we work together during the difficult times. Now, the most difficult times should be behind us, and we have a lot of opportunities ahead. The Bell and Road, the uh, Greater Bay Area, well, it's really, and uh, all these opportunities they are limited only the sky. So uh, I would really, as uh, you this is a very appropriate for this occasion. While whether the situation is favorable or very unfavorable, we still work together hard and we will achieve it. So now, we go. Okay, thank you very much. We work together to make sure Hong Kong 
and the region are both smart and green. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lo, for your great performance as always. I'm sure Hong Kong will be smart and green. Please remain on stage for the group photos. Three, two, one, cheers. cheers. Another great milestone for our organization. Would all our honorable guests and board members remain on stage for the toast? Cheers! Cheers! Thank you for coming again for happy eight years old to HKIQEP. Tonight we gather to celebrate our commitment to environmental excellence and mark the launch of the pilot graduate environmental training scheme, GATS. Before we begin, let's acknowledge the remarkable achievement of the GEMS program, Graduate Environmental Mentorship Scheme, honored at last year's dinner. We proudly recognize the 12 GEMS graduates who successfully completed the mentorship program. Now this year, we are excited to introduce the Pilot GATS program, which has received strong support from prominent Corporation and the Environmental Protection Department through the collaboration of experienced supervisors and tutors we have meticulously designed this comprehensive training scheme to shape the future of environmental professional. The GATS pilot scheme aims to recruit 13 exceptional candidates who have demonstrated their aptitude by passing part one of the rigorous professional assessment. We invite organizations, including the EPD, and esteemed company within the environmental sector to nominate outstanding candidates. These organizations represent a significant, <coughs> sorry, this organization not only pledged their support, but also generously offered their expertise Tonight, we officially launch the nomination process, marking the beginning of a transformative journey. The program spans three years of comprehensive training, followed by an additional year of valuable management experience. We eagerly anticipate welcoming 13 exceptional environmental graduates into this program, providing them with an accelerated pathway to become qualified professional members of our institute. This pilot scheme represents a significant milestone, symbolizing hope and endless possibilities. It sets the stage for a full-scale launch, and we eagerly await the invaluable contribution this graduates, our future environmental professional, will make to the environmental sector and the society at large. Now our in, I invited our esteemed guest of honor, Dr. Samuel Cho, to deliver the launch speech for GATS. Dr. Cho's unwavering support has been an inspiration to us all, and we are deeply grateful for his dedication. Dr. Cho, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Grace and Freeman. Uh, this distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm very de de delighted to be here with all of you at the 8th Annual Dinner of the HKIQEP. Tonight, we have the honor of witnessing the launch of the Pilot Graduate Environmental Training Scheme Program. The Graduate Program is a structured mentorship program designed to facilitate the progressive development of environmental graduates towards obtaining management of the HKIQEP. Structured training plays a crucial role in professional development. Additionally, professional development will strengthen the work of our department, the Environmental Protection Department, by ensuring a pool of qualified talents and expertise to address the pressing environmental challenges ahead. For example, the importance of addressing climate change and Hong Kong's commitment to achieve carbon neutrality in support of the national targets, which cannot be overstated. And also the Environmental Impact Assessment Ordinance, 
we need professionals from the HKI QEP to help us to bring forward the new legislation, the new scope that we are promoting over the last six to seven months since the, uh, the approval or from the LegCo recently. I highly recommend all young graduates and associate members of the HKI QEP to join the graduate program as it provides an opportunity to connect with the environmental industry professionals. The graduate program offers valuable experiences, knowledge and skills aligned with the requirements for becoming a qualified environmental professional. I also like to take this opportunity to invite experienced professionals and private companies to support the graduate scheme by taking on roles as tutors, supervisors or mentors. Please embrace the responsibility of nurturing young professionals by sharing your valuable experiences and professional knowledge. Environmental Division is actually a multidisciplinary uh, professional. It includes the scientists and also engineers. And I hope that some of the brilliant young people not only join the HKIQEP graduate programs, the training, but also the environmental engineering programs as well. And we can nurture our new generations to be multidisciplined in the future. I sincerely hope that the pilot graduate scheme will be a resounding success. And we eagerly anticipate the full launch of this program in the near future as the HKIQEP continues to cultivate more qualified environmental professionals for Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area. Last but not least, remember to vote on the 10th of December. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Choi. We kindly request your esteemed presence to remain on stage. Cheers. Cheers. The guest program is now officially launched. May guests be a beacon of aspiration, guiding us towards a brighter and more sustainable future. Thank you all, and special thanks to Dr. Choi. We know that Dr. Choi is going to give a talk about application of sewage virus surveillance, Hong Kong's experience in COVID-19 pandemic control on the 5th of December at 7 p.m. in Congregation House in Causeway Bay. So interested members and friends could scan the QR code on your table and scroll down to the bottom to check about this event. In fact, I know that um, the research uh, has been published in different scientific journals and highly recognized by the international communities. So it's a very valuable experience to learn from the expert. So look forward to seeing you all. Thank you. Council members, honorary advisors, and academic representatives, let's look at the camera and say cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Professor Casey Lam, Professor Christine Lowe, and academic representatives. Okay. May all our guests look at the camera and say cheers. Three, two, one, cheers. Thank you, all our institute representatives and council members. Three, two, one, cheers. cheers. Thank you, all co sponsor representatives. You may now take a seat. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.
Thank you all silver and bronze sponsor representatives. You may now be seated. Exactly. And Deer specializes in illustration, murals, and upcycle installations. We can feel their love and respect for the environment through the exhibition. Join me in welcoming them on stage to share their inspiring work with us. Chi Yi and Amy, please. Please give a big applause to Andia's founders. Hello, I'm Andia, i Amy. I'm Andia, i Chi Yi. First of all, thank Grace and the group to invite us to share a little bit of information. Today, this is about the annual dinner. 咁我哋 Andrea 咧，其實就由二零一一年開始成立咧。今日。咁我哋咧就係主要用動物同埋環境作為我哋設計嘅主題嘅。咁啊，因為我哋覺得想人知道某啲嘢咧，我哋首先咧就要俾人，唔係，我哋想人關注一啲嘢咧，我哋首先又要俾人知道嗰件事嘅存在。所以我哋由成立至今咧，我哋就喺自己嘅 Facebook 啊、Instagram 咧。就會放好多一啲關於動物新聞嘅插畫啊，或者一啲動物嘅有趣嘅 information graphics。咁從而咧就希望大家無論事事係好啊、唔好啊、輕鬆或者沉重咧，都首先有個知字先。從而我哋就推動佢哋由知道變成珍惜，從而再去尊重我哋嘅大自然。咁近年咧，我哋就多咗做一啲關於香港生態嘅 project 啦。咁、呃、我哋之前出咗一本繪本啦，就係、是呃、野鄰居香港兩棲啦，主要就係介紹香港有嘅兩棲類動物，因為我哋希望多香港人多啲認識我哋身邊嘅大自然。咁我哋亦都係書入面咧加插咗佢哋誒呢啲兩棲類動物面對緊嘅唔同問題啦。咁希望香港人都明白呢啲環境嘅問題就正正發生喺我哋身邊。咁另外咧，我哋都推出咗一 set 誒嘅香港野生動物卡啦。咁其實書店啊，誒、呃、啲小朋友嘅學習卡咧，就通常都係誒講啲獅子、老虎、大笨象。咁其實對於小朋友嚟講，佢其實同獨角獸一樣啦，未必有機會見得到佢哋嘅。咁我哋就製作咗呢 set 嘅動物卡啦，希望香港嘅小朋友喺認識咗呢啲動物之後咧，係有機會喺香港嘅郊野咧係睇得到佢哋嘅，拉近佢哋同大自然嘅距離。咁除咗我哋自己嘅創作啦，我哋亦都會咧同其他嘅團體合作啦，用唔同嘅媒體咧去推廣環境保育嘅。咁例如我哋有啲誒壁畫啊、誒刊物啊，同埋展覽咁樣。咁其中呢個 project 咧，其實係誒講誒同香港户外生態協會合作啦，就做呢、這個我哋設計咗一 set 嘅蜘蛛圖鑑嘅。咁其實佢哋想推廣咧呢個公民科學啦，鼓勵大眾咧去做呢個蜘蛛普查。咁我哋就將呢啲蜘蛛咧誒畫咗成一啲誒簡單嘅圖畫啦，同埋誒有啲少少嘅誒資訊啦，令大家咧去容易咧去認識到呢啲蜘蛛，方便佢哋帶去野外咧去辨認唔同嘅品種嘅。相信咧、呃，香港人都有去過呢個香港動植物公園嘅，咁好多時咧、呃，都會去睇啲誒籠入面咧養咗嘅唔同動物啦，有啲誒 m e m o 啊，有啲雀咁樣嘅。但係其實咧，香港動植物公園咧，亦都係香港啲、呃、原生動物嘅誒棲息地嚟嘅。咁我哋咧就喺、呃、公園嘅唔同範圍啦，畫咗唔同嘅動物。咁咧。誒參觀嘅人咧，可以拎住我哋嘅 leaflet 啦，根據個地圖去呢啲唔同嘅位置去發掘我哋畫咗嘅動物。其實就同我哋去 explore 呢個地誒、呃、大自然一樣。其實我哋身邊有好多唔同嘅物種，去俾大家去誒、呃、欣賞、去認識嘅。咁誒、呃，我哋就希望透過呢個遊戲一個好似誒誒藏寶啊，叫做咩 treasure hunt 嘅方法咧，去喺遊遊戲之中學習認識佢哋嘅。係啊，咁頭先嗰個壁畫創作咧，就固然有一個寓教於樂嘅作用啦。咁而呢一幅咧，其實係更甚嘅咧，我哋就係想大家一個社區有個融入喺嗰個創作入面。呢一幅畫咧，其實係今年年初我哋喺大嶼山水口村嗰度咧，就創作嘅一幅壁畫嚟嘅。咁入面由創作嘅方向啦、畫面嘅靈感啦，到落手落腳咧，其實條村嘅村民咧都有好大程度嘅參與。因為我哋希望呢幅畫唔係正正係美化咗佢個村口咁簡單，而係真係可以緊扣翻個社區入面嘅村民，可以真係用一齊咁大家去維護翻佢嗰個社區嘅一啲文化甚至生態
。咁而大家今日見到會場入面嗰個角落頭咧，其實有啲膠樽整嘅動物嚟嘅。咁呢一啲 upcycling installation 咧，都係我哋其中一個好重要嘅創作媒體啦。我喺度都介紹翻呢一個見到鯨魚骨，呢、這個係我哋其實第一次做嘅膠樽創作。咁當其時，其實科技大學咧就宣布唔再喺校園賣一公升樓下嘅膠裝水。咁我哋配合個主題咧，就決定用回收膠樽去砌嗰個 installation 啦。咁我哋第一次唔知道，雖然個 campus 話細唔細，但係我哋個嗰個工作期間得唔係好長嘅啫。咁左攝右攝，諗住啊留兩個禮拜俾你，應該都儲到一千幾百個膠樽俾我用啩。咁點知呢？事實係一個禮拜都冇呢，佢就打電話俾我，話個垃圾房已經爆咗啦。咁我哋大家其實更在場嘅人更加知道啦，一定聽過呢個世界每分鐘每分秒，其實生產緊幾多唔知幾多百萬噸嘅垃圾。但係當你親身行入去一個垃圾站，個垃圾站都唔細，然後係 full of 膠樽、塑膠垃圾，嗰、那個震撼係完全唔一樣嘅。咁就正正因為呢個震撼呢，就一路沿用到我哋而家做嘅所有 upcycling installation 呢，都有個堅持。我哋要好明白呢個 upcycling 嘅始同埋終呢，都係符合我哋自己嘅要求。個始就係我哋要好肯定，我哋嘅所有物料呢，都係垃圾嚟嘅，即係可以回收返嚟。而我哋製作嘅過程呢，係唔會添加任何物料，所以你會見到所有呢，都係藍藍綠綠，間唔中有啲咖啡色。就係、是、因為我哋唔會喺嗰個 installation 上面加顏料，我哋用翻膠樽收翻嚟係咩色就係用翻咩色。而另外我哋都唔會落任何嘅膠水，純粹用熱力將樽同樽黐埋一齊。咁完咗個剪之後咧，其實我哋好簡單就可以成嚿拎翻去回收，唔會製造更多其他嘅垃圾。咁除咗膠樽咧，其實我哋會做一啲、呃、例如誒、呃、廢棄嘅咖啡樽蓋啊，或者一啲、呃、好似嗰個烏龜咁，嗰、那個海龜咁樣係一啲廢棄嘅卡板嚟。咁我容許我賣少少廣告啦。其實我而家咧喺大圍一個叫做慈濟嘅環保遠行館嗰度咧，有我哋第一次嘅 Art Solo Exhibition 嘅。咁、那個地方雖然唔大，但係所有嘅創作都回饋翻我哋嘅創作嘅理念啦，同埋初心。你見到嗰個有一隻鯨魚，咁啱又係一條鯨魚，但係今次係一條有血有肉六米長嘅一條長鬚鯨，唔係一唔係得翻棚骨。咁但係好諷刺嘅係咧。成組 installation， 我其實足足用咗二十六至二十七 k i l 嘅膠樽去做，而呢個重量咧，正正就係一條成年嘅長鬚鯨每一日佢會吞嘅微細膠嘅重量。咁可想而知，佢每一日吞咗幾多咁嘅呢啲垃圾落肚度。咁我哋好明，好我哋都知道環保同埋一啲譬如誒環境啊、動物保育都好需要一啲科研嘅嘢去去配合嘅。咁但係我哋相信我哋嘅藝術作品咧，其實就係從另外一個角度，佢俾普羅大眾、觀眾又好，佢有一個更加感性嘅層面去打動佢哋，從而觸動到佢哋情感上嘅一啲衝擊咁樣。咁誒、呃，其實我哋一直咧都好堅持要做呢個關於動物保育嘅設計啦。其實真係好想透過我哋嘅藝術咧，去令大家去關注多啲呢個誒環境啊生態嘅。咁因為我哋其實日常生活咧都製造好多嘅污染啦，去破壞緊我哋嘅大自然。咁呢啲特別係塑膠啦，咁其實已經入咗我哋嘅食物鏈，甚至係我哋食用緊嘅海鮮或者海鹽嘅。咁其實咧，大自然咧同我哋真係息息相關啊！我哋好需要大自然咧去、呃、提供嘅資源啊。咁咧，我哋希望咧，誒，即係透過我哋嘅作品啦，可以鼓勵大家同我哋一齊保護呢個環境，源頭減廢，減少我對大我哋對大自然嘅破壞。好多謝大家。Thank you。咁好多謝。好多謝 C.E. 同埋 Amy 嘅介紹啦，咁亦都好多謝阿 Grace 介紹 and d e a r 俾我哋識啦。如果唔係，我哋都唔知道原來可以廢膠係可以攞嚟做啲咁靚嘅環保作品，一啲藝術品咁樣。Thank you so much to a n d e a r C.E. and Amy for introducing to us their upcycling artwork and their passion in environment, education, and also for the community. 
So please continue to enjoy your dinner, and we will be back later. Very for soon. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our dinner is about to conclude. I would like to take this opportunity to invite Dr. Peter Louis, our Vice President, to come to the stage and give us a close closing remark. Dr. Louis, please. I understand. The background is extremely busy. You are very happy. So. This will be short. Um, Hong Kong has made big strides in improving our environment in the past, and we believe it can continue to be a leader in Asia. But we cannot do it without your help. Through collaboration and cooperation across all sectors and the community. In closing, I would like to thank everyone. Who join us here tonight, and I hope you have all had enjoyable evening, and we look forward to your continued support throughout the year, and to seeing you all next year's annual dinner. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Louis, for this closing remark. Please be seated. So, ladies and gentlemen. We've now come to the end of the 2023 HKIQ EP Annual Dinner. On behalf of the Institute, I would like to thank you all for coming tonight. We hope you had a pleasant evening and connected with old and new friends. We hope to see you all in the coming CPD events and continue to support HKIQ EP. Please like or follow our Facebook page, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thank you for joining us tonight, and hope to see you all soon. Good night. Good night. Thank you.